Hi Stampers, it's Tina Shaw from TinaLovesToStamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Fairborn, Ohio. You can follow me on my blog and sign up for my email updates and my newsletter. I should be having a new newsletter coming out the 1st of January, hopefully. And if you currently do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or need a new catalog, I would be delighted to be your demonstrator. You can just contact me through my blog, tinalovestostamp.com. Today I have the cutest card, the cutest stamp set. Um, this is the first time I have inked this one up, and I'm telling you, it is adorable. This is called the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set that will be coming out in the new January through June um, catalog. And at the same time, we are going to have in January and February a celebration. So today I have used this stamp set. You can buy this as a bundle with the punch, the Strawberry Builder Punch which is awesome. And they also have in the celebration catalog that you can only earn for free with a purchase. Um, this is called the Berry Delightful Designer Series Paper. And let me tell you, it is just darling. I love this piece. This is like strawberry seeds. This is Poppy Parade color. And then this is a piece that I've used. This, oh, I love these colors. I love the little, um, the pretty little checked print. The pretty green plaid. This is garden green. There is also grainy apple green in here. And let's see what other patterns. There's just all sorts of patterns. Look on the back of that. Ah, gorgeous. So pretty, so summery. Here's my green. Here's the red. Oh, look at this. Blueberries. How cute. Now, to earn this paper, you do have to spend $100, but you also get another matching stamp set. This is called Berry Blessings. And look, blueberries. Oh my gosh, look at the font on those sayings. It's adorable. So you definitely want to put this on your wish list. Look at this. Oh, berries again. Love, love, love. And again. So, I'm going to show you how I made my card. I want to go over my parts with you. This is a piece of garden green for my card base, and that is at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter and folded. My first layer is Poppy Parade, and that one is five and a quarter by four inches. Then a piece of this darling little paper I just showed you, the DSP, the Berry Delightful. This piece is cut at three by four. And then my little strip here, the little green plaid, is cut at one by four. For my circles, I've used the second from the largest stitched circle die. And this is from the Stitch Shapes die set, which has it has the squares, the ovals, and the circles. There, I used that second from the largest. Then behind it, I have the little scalloped circle. And that one is the third from the largest scalloped circle die. Let me see, I used that one right there. And this was out of the garden green. And I'm going to show you how I um, did my strawberries. And on the inside, I used the thank you that comes with the set. So does the hello there. And then I just stamped a couple of the little strawberries on the inside. So let's get started. Now, I obviously switched colors because I just like to do things differently every time, it seems. So I'm using the Poppy Parade as my card base. And then here's the inside piece. So I switched up garden green and then I'm using the same red but I might leave just a little bit exposed down here on the bottom or you could just do it like that either way it looks cute so let's go ahead and start putting this together so I'm going to use my stamp and seal 
And I'm just going to put this down here right over my green piece. And then I'm going to take my little strip and I'm going to put that right there. And you have just a little bit to play with. You can overlap it a little bit if you want to. That's what I did. And then before I did anything else, I took some of the little ribbon. This is in the holiday catalog. It comes um, two spools together. One is the poppy, and then there's a spool of olive also that that goes with that and then this is just the cording that's in the annual catalog so I'm just going to take this around I probably cut off like 15 to 18 inches of each piece because I wanted to have enough to just make a little bow this is where I need three hands <laughs> to get that through there that's not bad okay and then I'll trim those ends off in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to set that over there. So I've already gone ahead and cut out my circles. And so this stamp set is photopolymer. So whenever I use a photopolymer set, I like to use um, my piercing mat. And I cover my piercing mat with wood paper. And I think I want to have a little different um, saying on the front this time. This one, I think I'm going to put it like right there. And let me grab another little block. Right here, and pick that up. I've got my garden green ink pad. And I'm going to ink this up. And I'm just going to stamp this off to the left about right there cute that was so sweet of you so i can still use um the inside that says thank you if i want to which i will so i'm going to pop this one up with dimensionals so i'm gonna put just a few i like to have one in the center just to keep it nice and popped up okay so anyhow so I pop that up on there. I think I'm going to pop this up as well because of my little ribbons on there. It kind of um, makes it a little bit bulky there. So I think I'll just put one at the top and one at the bottom of the circle. So it will fit right between there. Good. I just took a little piece, well this is a big piece, but I just took a little piece and I stamped the outline of the strawberry. Oh, so I used the black, so I'm just going to try to get the black on here just to show you what I did. So I just inked that up. And so I'm just going to stamp the black one on there just to show you. And I did that. The thing is, I'm going to cut this out, cut it out as a little strip because when I used this paper, I didn't want to use all three of those stamps. So I did this earlier, but I wanted to show you how I did that. So there's how I did my strawberry. So I have three of those, uh, the white cardstock and um, how I did this was I took a piece of uh, white paper and I punched out the image like that. And then I took my stamps, put these like this so it just fit right inside of each area. Pardon my head, <laughs> like that. Kind of fits in there, you know, like a little puzzle piece. And then this one, oops, you gotta do them upside down, there you go. Because 
that's where I want it. And then you just take your block and put it down. And then that will be exactly where you want to stamp and cut out with your punch these images. So here's this piece. And then um, before I cut these out, use the color to fill in. This is the strawberry and the poppy. So I'm just going to use my little piercing mat like I told you. And then I'm going to stamp right there. Cute! I love it! It's just so easy. So, and then I'm going to use my garden green for the leaf. It is just adorable. And it lines up pretty well, actually. And then there was that one. And then I have one more here somewhere. Here it is, I think. Haha. -ha. And then you put this in here. And voila, it will cut them all out at one time. I just need to stand up. I have a little <clears throat> arthritis. So, oopsie, and there we go. Okay, so then what I did was I took my dimensionals and I put the dimensional down at the bottom and then I took my stamp and seal and just put a little bit on the top and so I just kind of put it like that and then I did it again over here same way put this up at the top and then a dimensional all right or two <laughs> Two came off, so I'll do two. And did that one like right there. And then I took one more and I kind of tucked him up and under in there like that. So I put that there and again a dimensional down at the bottom. And before I do that though, I'm gonna take my little stems and I'm gonna put on my stem and then I'm gonna tuck that one kind of up in there under and over About right there and then I've got two more and then of course these go on top of the strawberries look how cute I love it isn't that just adorable? So there's that one. I took two of the leaves and I put one up here. And on this one, I used a dimensional and just kind of tucked it in behind the strawberry like that. And then I took another leaf Put that up in there. Look how adorable. Is that the cutest thing? I'm going to fidget with my bow a little bit to get it the size that I want it to be and then get it nice and tight and then just trim the ends off. Using my retired ribbon shears that I just love and cannot do without. Oh, it needs to be a little shorter. There we go. We'll take my holiday rhinestone jewels. And I just want to add a few of the red. And let's see, I put one down here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. And then I'm just going to glue that onto there. And you can use your seal or you can use um, the liquid glue, whichever you prefer. A lot of times I do use the liquid 
isn't that the cutest have it on my grid paper because it helps me to try to get it a little straighter than if I don't use it. We'll see. Like that. Mm -hmm. eh. Still didn't get it straight. Let's try one more time. You have two chances here. Let me stand up. Better. And let me see. Yep, I did it in black because I wanted to do it on the inside. I think it just adds so much. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to take my inside strawberry and just stamp. Isn't that so cute? I love how it looks um, dimensional on there, how it's light and dark. Stem piece and put it on a little block. And I'm gonna stamp these in black. Right there. Now, if you want, you could just leave it like that. But just for you all, I'm going to stamp it, stamp it in. Pardon my head. And there you go. How cute is that? I think it's adorable. So then all you need to do Get rid of that. Pretend like that's not there. And then put this on the inside. And there's your card. Is that cute? Let's do our envelope the same way that we did the inside of the card. So let's start off with the now you could just do one strawberry if you wanted. I did two, which takes up a little more room. Totally again, up to you. As long as you have enough room to get the address on there. <laughs> I guess you're okay. I love that poppy on here. It's so bright and beautiful. And there's that. And then let's do this one in the black. Now, let me remind you, these are coming out. They will be able to be ordered on January the 5th, which is coming up on a week from tomorrow. And let me know if you need a catalog. And I will be back soon. I think I want to make the blueberry card next. That one looked really, really cute too. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.